This video is for midwives and healthcare assistants who will be collecting samples for life study participants. This video shows how to collect baby urine. Before you collect the sample, please check whether the woman has consented to give bio samples and check she is happy to give her baby's urine. Baby urine samples are to be collected by the baby's parents during their hospital stay, after delivery. Midwives and healthcare assistants should be ready to assist parents or to explain the procedure as required. Please make sure that you have all the equipment ready before you start. All the equipment needed for sample collection can be found in the baby urine collection kit. Please refer to the life study folder for the location of the kit. Each kit contains three cotton wool balls, a 20ml syringe, a screw top specimen collection tube, two Ziploc plastic bags, A sample collection instruction sheet for midwives can be found in the life study folder. A urine collection kit should be handed to parents after delivery and advice given as required. The cotton wool balls inside the kit should be placed into the baby's clean nappy in an appropriate place for urine collection. The nappy should then be fastened as normal. Once urine has been passed, the nappy should be removed by the parents and the whole nappy placed into one of the plastic Ziploc bags provided. Parents should be advised to hand the Ziploc bag to their midwife or healthcare assistant. Any cotton wool ball that is heavily contaminated with stool will need to be discarded. The midwife should extract the urine from the cotton wool balls once the sample has been returned by the parent. Even if the volume of urine it collected is low, please continue with the collection procedure. Small samples can still provide results when processed in the laboratory. Once you receive the sample from the parents, print the woman's life study sticker and place it onto the empty screw top specimen tube. The sticker should be printed as close to the time of sample collection as possible. Please watch the separate labelling video which shows how to do this. To extract the urine from the cotton wool balls, remove the plunger from the 20ml syringe. Wearing gloves, place the cotton wool balls containing the urine into the syringe and then replace the plunger back into the syringe. Remove the cap from the labelled urine specimen container and place it under the syringe, ready for the collection. Push down onto the plunger and squeeze out as much urine from the cotton wool balls as possible. Once the collection is complete, secure the lid tightly back onto the specimen container. The syringe, dirty nappy and gloves should then be disposed of into a clinical waste bin. The collection tube should be placed into the second Ziploc bag provided, then the sealed Ziploc bag containing the sample should be placed into the life study fridge on the label ward. The midwife or healthcare assistant should record whether a sample was given using the checklist kept in the woman's notes. If a sample was not given, please ensure that a reason, for example consent declined, is provided. Any faecal contamination of the urine sample will also need to be noted on the checklist. Finally, the logbook and the label ward sluice room should be completed. For further information on the sample collection process, please contact the Life Study Research Midwives.